first webinar. Um, my name's Alex Wilkins, and I'm going to be your host for the next five to ten minutes or so. Uh, today, we're going to run through a brief overview of the iHasco LMS, and this should be beneficial for both existing customers and people who are looking to join iHasco. Uh, so let's get started we're on the LMS administrator login page, and this is where you will type in your username and password to get into the system. If you have any trouble logging in, give us a call or follow the instructions here. When we log in here, we come to a dashboard for iHasco. So this gives you an overview of exactly what's happening within your training system. Um, we've got how are you doing tab here. So this is populated this system. It will show you uh, we've got 38.9% not started, 19.4% expired, 25% uh, completed and 13.9% in progress. And then 2.8% of people have failed. So that is your overall training progress with iHasco. Um, hopefully a lot of you will be within the green um, rather than having any other um, colors here on this uh, pie chart that you see here. So from this homepage, you can get to all the necessities that you need for managing your accounts. So you can browse your users, add and update users, message all users. So that'll be through an email um, and you can change your account settings here as well. Um, we'll go into the settings today so I can show you where everything is on the system. If we click the settings in the right hand corner, um, you will be able to get access to your global settings, your messaging, your administrator's contacts. And that's who you would like um, staff to contact if they need any help. Um, we've got a separate tab here for users. So this is administrative users. That's where you can set up any additional administrators for the system. So you could add a HR manager on. You can add a manager on for a specific location if you wanted to. Normal users is your overview of everyone who's logged onto the iHasco system um, and will take you through to the users tab, but you can get there through the users tab at the top of the screen as well. Then we have user profile fields. Uh, in here, you will be able to go in and set profile fields um, that you would like staff to update or that you would like to have added onto the system for you to make the tracking um, and recording of your training even more easier. And then on the right hand side, we have core settings. Uh, in here, you can set your individual pass marks. Uh, you can set refresh periods for each course as well through there. Scorm and course passes is not really um, necessary unless you are looking to use a third party LMS. If you're looking to do so, I would advise to contact us directly and we can help you out there as much as possible and show you the route to downloading SCORM files to upload to a third party LMS. A brand new feature we've released is documents and policies. Um, this is where you can host your own documents uh, on a system and make them required reading for all staff members. Um, it's a paid for feature. Please contact your direct account manager if you'd like to find out more information on the costing of that. And then further on down, this is more advanced um, settings. So you've got your security where you can control um, how people register, email domain restrictions, um, authentication methods, and IP restrictions as well. And then we have the API access here. Again, not necessary unless you're trying to uh, integrate our system into any of your own internal systems. So that's it for your settings. Um, everything that you're going to need um, to set up your account is directly here. <laughs> And if you want to find out more information about any specific setting here, please contact your account manager directly. Um, moving on, we're going to go next into the user fields. Um, active users will list everyone on the system who is active at the moment. Uh, if someone leaves a company, you'd archive them and they would move across to the archive tab here. Um, if you add new people on through the button here, then they would appear here once they've uploaded. Um, if I briefly show you how add an update looks, you can either import people individually here or you can download a CSV template and run a bulk upload. Uh, again, you can always give us a call or contact your account manager directly and we can give you assistance on doing this um, and we can do it on your behalf if you need to as well. So um, give us a call if you have any questions around that. Once you click the import button, your staff will be loaded into the system um, and ready to get on to do the training and they will appear here populated in the active users. Uh, next, just going to show you how to briefly assign courses to people. 
So we've got everyone uploaded to the system. Um, we're going to assign Mike Bell as a training course today. Uh, we select him uh, on the left-hand side here. We get act on one user. We perform an action, which would be manage the enrollment. So this is going to enroll um, Mike onto courses. So we're going to enroll him onto display screen equipment and fraud prevention, uh, save the course assignments, and then that will bring you through to Mike's profile where he will be assigned them courses. Um, and directly from here, you can then send an email from the system to get to Mike on to complete his training by clicking that button there. Next, I will show you on to how to report on people who have done the training. So in the reports at the top of the screen here, we can click on uh, display screen equipment training there. And this will show you uh, an overview of exactly how you are um, doing on this course. So you've got expired, uh, completed, in progress and not started. And then below it tabs it down for you as well. So we can quickly see the people who have expired, the people who have completed, the people who are in progress and the people who are not started. Um, if you need any more information on this, again, contact your account manager. We're more than happy to run you through that. Um, the final thing I'll show you today is insights. So that is going to give you uh, an overview to what's happening on your account. You can see which administrator is sending out which um, emails or course assignments to which member of staff. So this is all tracked and recorded here for you to keep a log on any activity on your account. Um, you can see there you've got the name Connor Ellis and he's been uh, had a refresh reminder sent to, um, well, sent for fire awareness. Um, so that's it today. It's a brief overview. Um, we're here to help on the phone if you need us at all. Um, but hopefully this has been useful for you getting started on your uh, iHasco account. Good luck. Thank you very much.